This is our turf nursery or slash research area. We have uh, nine plots over here of Tiff Eagle, uh, individually irrigated. And on this section, we have new varieties of grasses that we're looking at, warm season grasses that we're looking at from zoysias, uh, as well as Bermuda grasses. New selection of ultra Bermudas. We have it in small section plots here as well. And we're really kind of comparing that to some of the older varieties and seeing how much stronger or how much more drought resistance those are, how much more disease resistance those are. Trying to look at it with different chemistries, um, both fungicides, uh, you know, plant growth regulators, trying to look at them with wetting agents, trying to just learn more and more about these uh, newer varieties and how it compares to some of the older varieties. So everything that we've done has been replicated. Uh, you know, we've done a triple replication so that we're kind of looking at it uh, from multiple angles and trying to understand exactly what's happening. So when we're doing a test with, uh, let's just say, a fungicide, we're kind of trying to replicate that over and over again just to make sure that we kind of get the uh, desired results. The only thing, it's fairly new. It just was installed last, uh, late last summer. Most of what we're doing down there will be long-term. Um, you know, evaluating different grasses as an example um, will be long term, will be for the next generation of uh, renovation. It's easy to see all the different shades of green that we have. Some are going to respond a little bit better to the cooler temperatures, some are responding a little bit better to this gray day uh, than others. And, you know, we just, we kind of learn all of those little tricks a little bit better, but we're treating everything the same and very similar to what we're treating on the golf course so that we can kind of find out is there a variety that actually suits us better in this in this climate right here doing what we do on a day in and day out basis. Jeff is fantastic and his team is fantastic and we might ask Jeff to say hey can you test this for us and we have a we have an, an unusual situation at a tournament site over over here in this state and uh, um, I want to know if this product or procedure can help us and he has the ability, he has the grasses and the equipment and everything to do that. And we have a lab now at the agronomic center that we can uh, develop, uh, further develop our own testing processes. So yeah, it's very exciting. I think it's a little early yet for us to kind of come to any types of conclusions. I think what we are doing is, is just trying to take a uh, in certain sections of this uh, research area, we're trying to take a hands-off approach and allowing things to blossom. So if we do get a little bit of disease, allowing that to kind of develop and watching it and trying to understand it and how far will it go. These are all things that we can learn as far as how strong that turf is, how resilient that turf would be. Would it be better if we treated it or didn't treat it? Uh, long term, does it become stronger and more resilient to that disease uh, if we didn't treat it constantly? We do things a little differently here and there's no question and we're doing it for a different reason. Obviously our focus is the tournament and, and we have a lot of an agronomist here that work at multiple sites. Uh, so a lot of, we're blessed in, in having those agronomists here come here with different ideas, different thoughts. Um, they come up here to look at different varieties of grasses. They may see something out uh, when they're out in their travels that they may want to come here and, and try, to, try to look at and see if they can replicate here on this site just to see about the recovery aspect or to see if, uh, if that grass has got some viability to it. So we'll put it under a certain amount of stresses for them and see how it responds. A tournament is our goal. So if it has a good tournament playability, um, that's ultimately what we're after.